Daddy, I feel sick. It's nice that you are in this kind of cocoon and have a look outside this kind of one one window. That this thing will sit in the landscape for a lot longer after we've gone. So we need to consider how it responds to the forest. Right, this is really close now. This is it. This is it. It's all about the process. It's all about how we kind of how we value every step we do. There, there. That's it, Bernie. Yes. Oh, that's it. <laughs> oh my god, look at that tower. Ridiculous. Do you have tower there? Oh. Oh. On the project, almost any project, everything begins with the house. Las Aras was a place that appeared to me as though it had rained pieces of magic into a landscape. This place invades the soul and diverts it in other directions. This house's evolution is compelling. The ancient farmhouse, extended over centuries, provided a collection of spaces that are full of stories. The spaces connect in surprising and incomprehensible ways. Here is another world. Here was a place where students could stay and build their own accommodation in the landscape. Visit the site, explore the terrain, and in the process of looking and contemplating, design a shelter within the landscape. The only stipulation is that the structure must be habitable overnight a place for sleeping, sitting, observing. You see the photos and you think like, oh, that must be such a beautiful place. Um, but like you can't, still don't really get it. So drink, you thieving bastard, drink, <laughs> and may the wine in my blood afford you a taste of a world you'll never know. Yay. Beautiful. <laughs> Seems such a waste. <laughs> Stepped into like ten. <laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful room. There are now like different paths that go off from this tree. We can explore some of those or maybe go thicker into there. Arriving into the forest from the house, um, we pass on uh, paths that are trodden down by um, repetitive movement from forest animals and boar. It was these paths that led us directly to this tree. You can see the tower through there, and then through there. We all overthink ideas, keep talking about them, and I like that we have quite often gone, well, why don't we just try it? OK, that doesn't work. Let's try another thing. Yeah, that's one of the best ways of learning. We build uh, like a platform uh, that sits up here, and then on the platform we use straps to yeah. make like a net. Yeah. And those straps are going to come down yeah, to these lines. foundations okay. in here and here <laughs> to help the tree <laughs> to create a bed. And then uh, around the platform, we're going to uh, weave like a big, funny shaped cap. Okay, great. With a window to the stars. Okay. For, for yeah. sleeping. Yeah. Okay. The amount of light that gives to the other trees now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that's our view to the stars through the hole in the... Perfect. Look at that, man. I get far more enjoyment out of seeing a design come to life. My main dislike is sitting at a computer all day, being extremely detached from what you're doing. So I think it's lovely to, to have something which is much more active. Really, really. Which is how it will sit. And then, yeah, watch out, more bamboo behind you. The bamboo that we found around here is working with the materials, and we've got the platform structure in the tree, and then these um, ratchet straps with 
basically found objects like weighty, like real solid objects, huge rocks or like parts of trees and things like that. But I think the solidity of those for me has been the biggest response to the house. It's very rewarding to just be there with your own hands, splitting wood, sawing something, digging a hole. You get such an immediate connection to the actual finished piece. The way that we've designed the structure, it needs to be hoisted, lifted and slotted back onto the tree trunk. I'm thinking we should cut some um, sort of thinner bits so we can screw those into the cross beams to get them completely level. It's pretty solid, eh? Solid. I mean, it's like a bed. That's good. Um, All right, guys, the table's, together? the table's not that solid. Yes! <laughs> it's going good. Building a lot of it down here and then transporting it to site in two bits, and it's always like when, when it starts to take shape, it's always great. Inevitably, things aren't going to go s smoothly to get to that point, which we have, have in our head. Like I was saying, you'll need to come back and adjust. You do it. Guys, I'm not sure this is going to okay, be you, you, okay, okay, now we need to... Ping in. There's a lot more space on this side. Are we fine? Are we fine? It's out. It's out. It's out. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have been weaving, bending, folding, reaching, crouching, ducking, dropping, eating, sleeping, cutting, sawing, breaking, swearing, in and out of winding routes, see small wonky windows to other worlds. There are 100 ways to fix A to B. We have been weaving. The process of physically making something or trying to almost forcefully get this thing into the world is, is one that's a battle with yourself, it's a battle with the material. Every move that you do is bringing more of your emotional like, self into the process. I realised that this is the definition of luxury. The word rang loudly in my brain. I'd been so conditioned to think of it as having something to do with opulence and therefore wealth that I had not realised that in a parallel existence exists a value in doing things well and learning from both a place and other people. Time was the luxury. My investment was in learning by spending time here. I think if you're lying up there, it's just like a really, really incredible experience. The whole thing was, was about um, actually the process of making it. Amazing, amazing experience, <laughs> but I think our job is for now done so that other people can use it now and uh, hopefully it can integrate well into the nice world of Las Harras. But I think we did a good start. <laughs>